Hey y'all, this is Music on Fire Tan. As you can see, I'm in a different place. I'm actually at home in Houston right now, and this is the third episode. I'm pretty sure it's only the third episode of the pre-med diary. So today I wanted to come to you to talk about shadowing. It's really important, and I realized this today, to shadow a doctor or volunteer with a doctor in the profession that you are seeking to go into. So as you know, I've been accepted at accepted into SCNM, which is a naturopathic college in Arizona, Tempe, Arizona, and I found, actually the school found a naturopath who practices here in Houston, and I was able to work with her today. So that inspired me even more, showed me that this is definitely the right path that I'm taking because of the things that she was talking to me about. She gave me some wonderful articles that I've been reading pretty much all day. Um, so that's one thing that I would definitely suggest you do. Get in contact with a person in the profession you are seeking to go in, whether it's medicine or anything. But I like to talk to potential doctors because the bottom line is the um, information that we're given in our undergraduate schools, at least to me, and I've been to several different undergraduate schools because I've studied abroad and I've transferred, they don't give you information as if, to me, I'm not trying to be mean, but they don't seem to give you information as if they want you to succeed in your field or to even go into medicine. People suggest that you do research and different things like that. I definitely respect research. It's very important. However, if you come into a school knowing that you want to do something, I don't believe that it's anyone else's responsibility or you know their place to try and convince you to do otherwise so that being said I think it's really important for you to find someone in the profession that you'd like to go into be a medicine or what have you and talk to them find a way where you can sit in their office for a couple of hours and see exactly what it is they do when I did that today um, even though I was here in Houston which is not my favorite place in the world I was very excited and I know this is something that I'd love to do so when you're shadowing, some of the things that the doctor will probably talk to you about is what they generally do every day. You'll be able to see, is this something that I'd be able to do every day? Sitting there in that office, the time went by so fast, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I learned a lot today, and I'm so excited to learn even more things these next coming four years and however many years I have in my residency. So I would suggest those people out there who are pre-med, look into naturopathy, look into osteopathy, and look into the so-called mainstream allopathy. Compare them, see what they're all about, do your research. With anything, do your research all the time. Um, this was just a little short video, Pre-Med Diaries Episode 3. Any pre-med people out there, if there's something that you'd like me to speak about in these, um, I can do that. And please just ask me about it. Like I said, I graduated recently and I was pre-med the entire time. So I can give you some pretty decent advice on being pre-med and what you should do. If I come up with anything else, I'll try and bring it in the video, see what works, see what doesn't work, and that's it. Also, this is a little bit off topic, um, and I guess I can go ahead and talk about my hair and this too since I'm getting off topic, but um, I am starting another website soon because my other one um, expired to put it mildly, you know, expired. And so I am taking suggestions for things that you'd like to hear about on there. I want to keep a lot of the information on there about natural hair. I want it to be about being pre-med, a lot of stuff about women's health, um, just issues going on in the black community because, you know, it's my passion. Um, anything that you all would like to see, let me know because I do want people to come to the site and visit it, obviously. And I'm also going to be selling books on there because I am a self-published author. So I've been making additions to a short story book which will be an ebook and a poetry volume which will also be an ebook that I will sell for a very inexpensive price. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Um, so that's about it about the website. Don't have too much more information on that. And my hair. So it's really simple. It's very hot here in Houston. So I was forced to put my hair up. I don't usually like to wear my hair up but then when I do wear it up I'm like oh it looks, it looks okay. I should do this more often. So what I did simply put was just to get, um, I have my hair in little braids, and so I braided it into larger braids, and then I tied it like in a knot, tucked it under, and pinned it down. Simple, there are about eight of them all over my head, and then I left the bangs right here, like that. And that's it, so Pre-Med Diaries, episode three, let me know what you guys want to see in further, or other um, episodes, and what you'd like to see on my website.
Beach your website, anything like that. Thanks so much. Later.